always wanted to make a bit of passive income, but don't really want to spend much money and aren't sure how to get started, then today's tutorial is just for you. Hey, I'm Thea, a Canva verified expert, affiliate and trainer based in Scotland, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on designing a text-based t-shirt design in Canva and uploading it to a free tea public store. Now in this tutorial, I'll be using Canva Pro, which is essential for doing good t-shirt designs. If you don't have Canva Pro, but fancy test driving it for free for 45 days instead of the normal 30, then use my special affiliates link. I also have an affiliate link for you to sign up for a free tea public store. I've had several stores on different platforms like Merch by Amazon, Redbubble, Zazzle, Cafe Press, but I find Tee Publics the quickest and easiest pod to get your designs uploaded. And because it's so quick and easy, I've uploaded more designs there than anywhere else. Thus, I make more money on it than any other platform. So get ready for print on demand. Let's go. Okay. So here we are at Canva's homepage, and we're going to just click on create a design up at the top right and do custom size. And we're going to do 4,500 by 5,400, which is generally an industry standard set by Merch by Amazon. So it's just the habit that I've gotten into. And then I'm going to just label this T-shirt, you know, and then whatever, uh, whatever I've done figure out what I'm going to call it. So to add text to our, de our design, all we're going to do is hit the letter T and then we get some text. Just make that bigger. And, and I'm just going to do something like Scotland University because there is no such thing here in Scotland. So I'm just going to stretch it out. I was, you know, I could maybe make it I could change my font to make it something like Barlow Black. And maybe I want to just curve it. So if I click on effects, I can curve it. I don't want it quite so curved. I want something like that. And I can just make it a bit bigger. And I usually draw it up to the line. So just kind of where the pink line comes in so it's down a little bit from the shirt. Now again I can choose any kind of font that I want. I actually have some collegiate style fonts that I've uploaded which of course you need Canva Pro to do and I think it's SF yeah, SF Collegiate Regular and uh, there you go. So now I've just got a really simple t-shirt design with some text on it. Uh, let's add another page and let's do it again. Letter T uh, Happy now we want a different kind of font for this one. So let's do, I don't know, is there fun fonts, funky fonts? Yeah, we've got some different fonts here. I tend to keep to the free fonts, generally speaking. Happy Friday, that's kind of cute, right? Can make it quite big. I can do it over two lines, maybe. And I can play with the spacing between the lines. Looks kind of cute, doesn't it? Right? You could do something like that. And we could always add in some little balloons or some little something fun and confetti like. Or we could make it caps by clicking the double A's. But I kind of like it in lowercase for some reason. Happy Friday. So that's kind of cute. And again, I'm going to have it up at the top. Maybe make it even a bit bigger. And make sure it's centered. And then, you know, I can do another one, hit the letter T again. Let's roll, right? And let's change the font again to something handwriting or handwritten, right? Handwriting. So we can find a handwritten font like that. Let's roll, right? So we could just do some simple text. Not sure I love the apricots one at the moment, but let's see what else. Brittany's kind of fun. Kind of hard to read some of the script fonts, so be careful if you're using a script font. So let's see. Let's see if there's another one that's a little bit easier to read, but is still quite nice. You can see we've got lots of them here. Louisville's a pro font. How about that one? Let's roll. Mm, I don't know. Let's roll. Or we could do pen one. It's kind of fun. Playlist script's always a good one. Yeah, I like playlist script. So let's go with play, play, playlist script. Let's roll, okay? And then I usually just label each design at the top of the page. So happy Friday. 
and the top one was Scotland University, our fictitious, oops, Scotland University. And then I just, I don't know what I call this. I might just call this various for the example. And then I'm going to go to share and I'm going to click download, transparent and download. And now I've got three t-shirts that I can head over to T Public and upload in a matter of seconds. Well, that's it for another Canva tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you need help, please reach out and I can make a short Canva tutorial just for you. Also, if you'd like a free 45 day trial of Canva Pro, please hit the link in my bio. Finally, be sure to head over to theanewcomb.co.uk slash links, where I've compiled an amazing array of recommended creativity tools, free resources, extended trials, and much more. Well, that's all for now. So until next time, I'm Thea. Say and see ya.